plans to bury these power lines, keep the lights on, and make Augusta Street safer. I'm Lauren Thomas, and funding for a list of major road projects is what's happening in the city of Greenville this week. $20 million state budget allocation for infrastructure will fully fund enhancements to the I-385 gateway into Greenville, Stone Avenue and Wade Hampton Boulevard safety improvements, Augusta Street power line undergrounding, and the implementation of a pedestrian safety action plan. Six million of the state funding will be used to connect the excitement of downtown with the enrichment opportunities at Heritage Green. Construction will begin on the Cultural Corridor and Academy Street bypass projects this fall. Lane reductions on College Street, wider sidewalks, traffic signal and lighting upgrades will make it safer for families to cross. City Council unanimously passed a resolution allowing the Greenville Housing Fund to accelerate projects by leveraging the city's annual contribution to repay loans. The added borrowing power will provide more than $13 million to expedite plans for complexes such as Southernside Senior, Parkside Lofts at Unity Park, and the Riley at Overbrook, adding over 500 new affordable units. Visit Greenville SC hosted its annual meeting to present its 2023 impact report that includes 7 million visitors, 1.5 billion spent by tourists, 49 million generated in local tax revenue, 70,000 hotel room nights, and 214 events booked. Could Greenville become the next Silicon Valley? The founder and CEO of SyncMD thinks so. He moved his med tech company from Seattle to Greenville earlier this year. Eugene Luskin, who was born in Russia and is of Jewish ancestry, said the Greenville community's inclusivity sealed the deal. The Greenville Zoo's fall and spring family programs are now open for registration. These engaging and educational programs are designed for children ages 2 to 11. By participating, children develop a deeper understanding of wildlife and conservation. The Hispanic Alliance of SC and Upstate International hosted Mas Salsa at Camperdown Greenville for an evening of culture and rhythm in celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month. Get ready for a Valentine's serenade by world-renowned Italian tenor Andrea Bocelli. Bocelli will give his first performance in South Carolina at the Bon Secours Wellness Arena on February 15th. The Greenville Symphony Orchestra will accompany the performance. Next Friday, the West Greenville Center will kick off Fun Fridays aimed at reaching senior citizens in the surrounding neighborhood. Activities will include karaoke, game days, technology workshops, and bingo with a twist. Southern Living Magazine put Greenville on its list of the best dozen spots in the South to retire. They used economic and lifestyle criteria including home and rental affordability, average resident age, and access to restaurants, hospitals, colleges, airports, and green spaces. Mixing work and play, our recreation staff picked up their putters to engage with players at the mini golf course in McPherson Park. They also hosted a hole-in-one challenge. Staff are planning other pop-up opportunities in the next few weeks to interact with our citizens. I'm Lauren Thomas for the City of Greenville.